Praise once again, welcome. Uh, this is your Rabbi Apple. If this is your first time of seeing me uh, on the internet or on the YouTube, uh, please, uh, would you please uh, hit on the subscription bell and then on the notification bell because uh, what I'm about to give today, <laughs> I may not be able to complete it. So in the near future, I will have to continue with it. Uh, normally, when I talk about uh, groupings or fermentation of the Psalms, people do not really get what I'm driving at. When I say fermentation of the Psalms, what I mean is that for one particular problem, I group all the Psalms that are capable of solving them. If you are using a one particular psalm, it would have been easier to use the holy name or to, uh, let me say, uh, intone the holy name. You intone the holy name. You can intone it for several times before reciting it. You can pray your problem before reciting it and then pray it after uh, when you finish uh, uh, reciting your uh, psalms. Whichever method you choose is appropriate. But with the intoning of the holy names of the particular psalm, what happens is that if you have the group, a group of psalms, then it becomes a bit difficult. So what you do is that instead of intoning the various name, what I do is I intone the holy name Yahweh. So I will intone the holy name Yahweh. Sometimes I recite it over uh, the Maha, the, the Mala, Mala, which is um, with the 108 beats. Or I use the Catholic beats, uh, which is 54. When I recite it two times, it still produces the 108. So what I'm about to teach today is... Um, Groupings, I mean the groupings of the psalms. So when I mention a particular psalm, I will show you the psalms. I, uh, sorry, when I mention a particular problem, I will show you the group of psalms that be, can, can be recited for a particular problem, after which you follow with your own personal prayer. You know, sometimes I'm taken aback when people listen to me and do not put it to test. Please try it because you have nothing to lose. You have nothing to lose. You only prove to yourself that these arms have, uh, have got energy that can really materialize your needs. Uh, having used the Psalms over years, I've come to the conclusion that they are powerful prayers. And they are very workable ones. So I'll, I'm going ahead to start the groupings. When I mention one particular uh, psalm, I will. Uh, I mention one particular problem, sorry. I will uh, uh, mention the group of psalms that you can use to address that particular problem. So I have them, uh, I've jotted them down in this exercise book is an exercise book so please don't write to me they are my notes normally i keep i keep notes you know i write them down so uh, what happens is that if you ask me to send you the book it's impossible to send you my notes but the content i can give them out so let's start with um uh, the first one the first one is um Praying for yourself. When you want to pray for yourself, Psalms that can enhance yourself is Psalm 114, Psalm 111, which is optional, Psalm 66, Psalm 8, and Psalm 82. If you are doing a compelling work, you are trying to compel somebody to your way of thinking, you use Psalm 110 and then Psalm 5. These two psalms are used for compelling work. Then for someone to call or contact you, I'm talking in terms of having lost contact with a particular person. If he has traveled or you can no longer find the person and you want the person to contact you, it's Psalm 92, Psalm 35, 
Psalm 103. If you are having love or marriage problems, these are the Psalms to use. It's Psalm 133, Psalm 138, Psalm 139, Psalm 140, Psalm 45, and 46. These Psalms are used to solve marriage and love problems. Then, if you have wound, if you have a wound which is not responding to treatment, before you use any any cortis or any any herbal concussion or medical drug to treat it, please pray over it. Psalm 146, Psalm 143, Psalm 147, and Psalm 18. This is for the healing of wounds. Then, if you are preparing bath salts, because bath salts can be used for protection. They can also be used for uh, removing of negativity like uh, demonic forces and then from evil spirits. Before the black salt is the most potent of all. Uh, pray upon this, uh, this uh, salt, Psalm 75 and Psalm 84. If you have lost your friend or you want to restore friendship, Say, due to some misunderstanding, uh, you've lost your friend and wish to restore friendship. Your psalm is Psalm 85. And then if you have someone you want to exorcise a demon from, or you are living in a room which you want to exorcise a demon from, these are your psalms. Psalm 29, Psalm 140, Psalm 66, Psalm 68, and Psalm 90. These psalms could as well be read upon water. It could be read upon olive oil for anointing purpose. But the basic purpose of these group of psalms I have just mentioned is to vanquish or to exorcise any demonic or evil force. If you want to have a road opener, you want, you have, want a, an opportunity that will open avenues for you, then you recite Psalm 65. Please recite it at least three times daily. It will open opportunities and avenues for you. Those of you looking for spiritual power, if you are looking for spiritual power, this is your Psalm. Psalm 112, Psalm 113, Psalm 99, and Isaiah, the whole of Isaiah 61. This will give you spiritual power. It will increase your spiritual power. If you are not getting prophetic dreams, or you are not getting dreams, or when you dream, you forget, you read Psalm 23 three times and Psalm 42 three times before you sleep. Add Psalm 96 so that you can remember your dreams. If you, have, uh, you want to reconcile Enstranged uh, lovers, I mean, some lovers who have gone apart. You have to read Psalm 88, verse 8 to 18. Psalm 88, verse 8 to 18. It's used for reconciliation. Then, if you want a lot of friendship, you read Psalm 138 and 133. Before you do any mystical work or spells or magical work, your psalm is Psalm 6, Psalm 32, and Psalm 18, Psalm 5, Psalm 102, Psalm 130, and Psalm 143. These are the psalms to be read before any mystical work. Then, if you want to overpower any evil spirit, it's Psalm 22. Then, if you want favor from important uh, people, you want favor to get favor from important people is Psalm 34, Psalm 78, and Psalm 5. If you want to increase the love between uh, couples, is Psalm 139. If you want to retain a stray, a stray lover, is Psalm 123. If you want to influence another, is Psalm 119. Va. V A H, the department of Va. Then, if you are seeking favor from a superior person, uh, is Psalm 119, the division of Samek. Then, if you want reconciliation, is Psalm 38 and 35. 
if you want to get work and then keep customers, it's Psalm 23, Psalm 8, Psalm 75, and Deuteronomy 28. If you want your business success, it's Psalm 5, Psalm 8, Psalm 82, Psalm 108, and Psalm 114. For love and romance, it's Psalm 32, Psalm 47, Psalm 51, Psalm 111, uh, verse 4, and Psalm 138. If you want good publicity, it's Psalm 37 and 56. If you want personal magnetism, it's Psalm 110 and Psalm 111. If you want help for uh, help for problem solving, it's Psalm 73. If you want to connect your guardian angel, it's Psalm 103. If you want to enhance your spiritual workings, it's Psalm 4 and uh, 17. If you want to stay a land, it's Psalm 9 and Psalm 15. If you want to uh, do favorite, it's Psalm 111. Against witches, it's Psalm 83. Against black magic, it's Psalm 25. Against gossip, it's Psalm 37. To communicate with angels, it's Psalm 104. For business boom, it's Psalm 43, 63, 82, and 114. To heal the sick, it's Psalm 41. To punish another magician, it's Psalm 52. Then unemployment, it's Psalm 61. Extraordinary need is Psalm 70. If you want to change your present employment, it's Psalm 81. If you want to cure impotency, it's Psalm 9 and 33. For political influence, it's Psalm 2. For success in public speaking, it's Psalm 19. Success in spiritual work or hoodoo work, it's Psalm 90. For all undertakings to be fortunate, it's Psalm 65. To have good luck, is Psalm 57. For illness and bad health, is Psalm 23, 35, and 38. To be, re for pain, to be recited as a painkiller, is Psalm 3. For money, is in a roll. Is Psalm 23 should be recited seven times in a row for money. Then for job seeking, is Psalm 26 is recited over olive oil and anointed with to to power other psalms is Psalm 29 against magical attack is Psalm 64 to have your prayer answered is Exodus 15 verse 2 and then Exodus 34 verse 6 to 7 and then for public speech is Psalm 119 the division of Daleth Against black magic is Psalm 57, 66, 76, 4, 15, 34, 40, 43, 48, 56, 81, 91, 101, and 112. And then say your prayer. Then if you go to the altar, at the altar, for prayer is Psalm 23, 57, 65, and then 29, Exodus 4 and 17. And then you recite the Our Father in a row three times. Then to learn who your spiritual guide is, is to use Zachariah 4, 13 to 14. If you have a deceitful boss, you use Psalm 120. 127 and 128. Against incubus and succubus is Psalm 125. If you have a troublesome employee or boss or tenant, is Psalm 129 and 130. For clarity of vision is Psalm 89, 19 to 21. Joel 2, 28 to 29. Acts 2, 17 to 18. Psalm 119, uh, verse 105, and Psalm 96. For quick money to pay all your bills. 
is Psalm 8, Psalm 17, Psalm 10, Psalm 21, Psalm 23, Psalm 26, Psalm 65, and Psalm 95. For a sick child is Psalm 8. Against evil spirit is Psalm 144 and 145, especially witchcraft spirit. Against enmity between husband and wife is Psalm 140. Meeting an important person, 122, 122, you read it 13 times. For your prayer to be heard is uh, Psalm 145 and then Psalm 52. If you are in court in front of a judge, while you sit, read the division of Sadi, Sadi, which is a division of 119. If you want to fast the next day, read the division, Psalm 119, it's division 121 to 128, which is Ayin. Then against an oppressor is Psalm 74. Against depth, depth is Psalm 69. Read it three times over water and drink. Then requesting something from someone is Psalm 65, 66, 67, and 64. To retaliate against your enemies is Psalm 52, 53, and 54. If you lose your job, read Psalm 41, 42, and 43 three times for three days. And you will see the hand of God in your life. I suppose I've been a blessing with these groupings, or what I usually term the fermentation, with this fermentation, and that with this you will be able to solve most of the problems because I've taken the time to group the Psalms that will be able to solve various problems I have used over the years. Uh, it's a pleasure reaching you. This is your Rabbi Afol. Uh, shalom, shalom, shalom. Baruch Hashem.